Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. This week, we have a very special video for you guys as one of our consistently profitable members wanted to give back to the community by creating a free options course for our members. And while this is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hello, welcome back. This is John, aka Wildlife in MIC chat. This is the second of the option basic series that I'm working on. Um, just a quick review. We briefly, in the first one, we touched on what are options, how are options used. The two types of options, we talked about calls or puts, you know, obviously there's a writer and there's a seller on each side, uh, expiration, and um, I believe that was basically the main topics that we kind of dis discussed. So we're going to continue on on some of the other things that I believe are important to understand when um, trading options. So we'll get right into it. One of the things that a lot of times um, you might see is the option strings. So this to the left, this is a uh, Tastyworks. I have a couple different brokers that I use uh, to trade options with. Tastyworks is a really easy one. It's geared towards uh, trading options, actually. It's the, fa the, guy, the same folks that created Thinkorswim. Anyway, so this is an option string. Um, that's what this is. And then uh, sometimes you'll see a kind of a string of characters. That's this one right here. So. Uh, it may look confusing when you first look at it, but it is uh, giving you what option, uh, what what symbol, what year, what month, what day, whether call or put or what strike. So I just what I did is I broke down each piece so in color so you can see option symbols in yellow. So this is the string that usually you'll see, uh, you know, typed or written. And over to the right, I've broken out by color. So in this case, the first the symbol is right here SPY. So that's going to be um, a the Spider S and P 500 ETF, and that's what's pulled up over here as well. So this trades options. Um, you can actually buy this ETF uh, just straight, like just like any other stock or ETF. But in this case, what I'm showing you is an option string, and like we talked about, they have weekly. So you can see there's quite a few. Um, this one has ones that expire on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and so forth and then they have these are all weeklies the Q stands for quarterlies and then these are just the standard ones the third Friday of every month that we talked about so anyway so kind of going through so the SPY is this ticker symbol the next two digits is going to be the year so in this case 19 notes that it's 2019 uh, the month so 10 is October the day this is the day that expires this one in this case would be this one right here so if I click on it it expands so that's what we kind of that's what we see right here uh, down below uh, I took some screen snips but that's how you do it so it expands down to that is the 18th and the C stands for in this case it's a call so if you saw a P here that would be the same thing it would be the S&P 500 the 2019 October 18th put for 300 and so if I click on that this, this one would be, so here's the call side right here, over here, and then the put side would be over here. So, let me just delete those. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the basic, actually, you know, option convention that they use to uh, denote which option you're looking at, uh, things like that. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me, but that's kind of the basics. Um, different platforms will have them differently, so most of them you'll type in the ticker, and they would, you know, on the side, they might have a tab, they might have something that says option string, you'd click on the string. And like I said, this case, um, 
Tastyworks is really geared towards trading options, and then I have it set up that way. So as soon as I type in the tip here, it takes me right to the options string. Um, they call this a table view. It's kind of, in my opinion, the easiest one to look at. So that's this this snip that I took here. I had it so that way you guys could see it. Um, and um, yeah, so let me, I think I mentioned this before. Um, the founders of Tasty Works, Tasty Trade, they're both the same, they're same comp similar, they're separate companies, but same folks are behind it. Um, uh, Tom Sognoff and Scott Sheridan, they're the two founders that created Thinkorswim. They sold it for TD Ameritrade, then they started Tasty Trade. They had a non compete. And then when that ran out, they launched Tasty Works, which is the actual um, trading platform. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.